The Fire Dennis Allen petitions are circulating around the internet. Hashtag Fire Dennis Allen is trending on Twitter. But all hope is not lost for this season. Well, maybe it is as far as making the playoffs and doing significant things in the playoffs. But that doesn't mean you stop tuning in. The Saints, although they do sit at 3-7, and seven, I'm going to come up with seven reasons that you should keep tuning in and watching the New Orleans Saints. Here we go. First one is Jameis Winston. You know, we had the idea that we were going to come into this season. We gave Jameis the keys to the kingdom and said, this is your team, run with it. We wanted to see what Jameis was and if he could be a good fit for this offense in, in, in New Orleans. And we never got the chance to see it. We got to see him for one good quarter in week one, followed that up with an injury, been sitting on the shelf. I think Jameis will find his way back onto the field and get a few solid starts in his system so we can really digest what he is. So look forward to seeing Jameis back on the field. Number two is going to be the development of Caden Ellis. Unfortunately, we saw Pete Warner go down to injury, but... Caden Ellis has looked good over the last couple of games, and when you've got somebody like uh, Demario Davis who is not getting any younger um, and may start to see a few less snaps in the in the years moving forward, somebody like Caden Ellis stepping up could be a, a, a huge win for the Saints. Look to him to uh, continue to impress over the course of the rest of the season. Number three, we get to watch Alvin Kamara break the touchdown record for the New Orleans Saints. He is just one short of breaking that record set by Marcus Colston. So look for that to happen in the next week or two. AK, the greatest running back in Saints history, yeah, I said it, will break the touchdown record over the next week or two. So tune in for that. And while we're on the subject of records, let's talk about Cam Jordan. Two and a half sacks away from tying Ricky Jackson for the all-time lead in Saints history in sacks. So I expect him to get at least three sacks the rest of the way, breaking another longtime Saints record. Next thing for number five I'm going to bring up is the secondary. Now I know we lost Marcus Williams, we lost Malcolm Jenkins, C.D. Deuce, uh, all those guys in the offseason. I can't imagine Tyron Matthews is going to be sticking around too long, so uh, I'm looking to the nucleus, the uh, the young guys, the Paulson Adebos, the Elante Taylors, and pair them up with Marcus May and Lattimore and just see how they gel, see how they continue to grow together as a unit. Um, the secondary is probably the most uh, dependent on each other unit that you've got on the football field. So looking forward to watching their continued development and, and see what they can put together throughout the rest of the season. Number six, and we're almost there, but number six, we're going to be talking about Chris Olave's rookie campaign. Now, I don't know if he can win rookie of the year, but he certainly has uh, the capabilities of finishing up top dog as far as rookie wide receivers. Um, And it really doesn't even matter who the quarterback is, whether it's Andy Dalton, Jameis Winston, or even Taysom Hill. Whoever's at the helm is going to find a way to get this kid the ball. Really curious how he finishes out his rookie campaign. And number seven... We've got Trevor Penning. I don't know if you remember this guy, but the Saints drafted him as a rookie back in the offseason. And we have not seen him on the field during the regular season yet, but he is due to come back. And when he comes back, I know he'll be eased into into the lineup, eventually, uh, hopefully, making his way to uh, being a starter by the end of the season. But I'm really curious how he handles NFL pace reps uh, toward the end of the year. Uh, really curious to see if he can uh, keep his nose clean as far as uh, the flags on the field and just go out there and perform like the first round tackle that we uh, we drafted. So there's number seven, Trevor Penning. And there we go. We did it. Seven reasons to watch the Saints the rest of the season. You don't have to have high expectations. You don't have to get yourself in a tizzy and be upset if they win, lose or whatever. But there's some individual stories that are uh, worth noting and worth tuning in for. In any event, who dat to all of you. Again, all we've got is each other in this. So let's stick together. Let's not argue on Twitter. Let's all get along. We all want the same thing. Who dat, everybody.